Let's take a look at applications of linear equations or linear functions. Here we see the sales of a small company were $27,000 in its second year of operation and $63,000 in its fifth year. If we let y represent sales in the xth year of operation, can we answer some questions about it? We can also assume that the data can be approximated by a straight line. Part A asks us to find the slope of the sales line and give an equation for the line in the form y equals mx plus b. Let's try that. To begin, we should recognize that there are two ordered pairs hiding inside of this word problem. Can we see that if we are given a year of operation that we get an output of what the sales were for that particular year? For instance, in the first statement it tells us that in the second year of operation sales were $27,000. So in year two, sales were 27000 Reading on, it tells us that in year five, sales were 63000 And so as we look at part A, we're to find the slope of the sales line. Here, we'll use the slope formula. m equals y sub two minus y sub one over x sub two minus x sub one. And given the two points we have, we could say the slope is equal to 63,000 minus 27,000 divided by 5 minus 2. Simplifying these numbers, 63,000 minus 27,000 gives us 36,000 divided by 5 minus 2, which is 3. 36,000 divided by 3 gives us 12,000. So part A says find the slope of the sales line and give an equation of the line in the form y equals mx plus b. We're part of the way there. At this point, we know the slope of the line to be 12,000. Let's find the equation of the line. To do so, we could pick either one of the two ordered pairs that we started with. I'll choose the first one. We'll use y minus y sub one equals m times x minus x sub one. Plugging in the appropriate numbers, we could say y minus 27,000 equals 12,000 times x minus two. To write it in slope intercept form, I'll distribute the 12,000 and then add the 27,000 to both sides. Given the equation y equals 12,000 x plus 3,000. We should check this to make sure that both ordered pairs really do exist on this line. We can do so by verifying that if x is 2, y should be 27,000. And also, we would need to verify that if x is 5, y turns out to be 63,000. Let's look back at part B. Part B says, use your answer from part A to find out how many years must pass before the sales surpass $100,000. To approach this problem, we're going to use the results of part A, y equals 12,000 x plus 3,000, and we're asking the question, when will sales surpass $100,000. If you remember, sales represents the y variable. So we'll plug in 100,000 for y and solve the resulting equation for x. To solve for x, we could first of all subtract 3,000 from both sides, which gives us 97,000 equals 12,000 x. Dividing both sides by 12,000, x would be 97,000 divided by 12,000, which equals 8 and 1 twelfth. So let's go back and see the question again. Part B says, to find out how many years must pass before the sales surpass $100,000. So at some point in year 8, we'll see that the sales will surpass $100,000. So since we're looking for a specific year, 
we could say in year 9. 